Welcome to Tanya Makes, and I'm Tanya. Today I'm doing some baking because it's spring and I wanted cake and baking sounded really good. So I was thinking of um, spring creatures and of course the lamb cake came to mind, but everybody makes lamb cake. We don't need more lambs. No, what I thought I would make today would be the beaver cake because what says spring more than beavers? Okay, so this is pretty easy. I just made um, three little mini cakes. Look at how cute this are. This is so cute. And now I'm gonna stack them up. I've got one. Oh my gosh, actually this looks like a giant burger. You see that? So if you don't wanna make a beaver cake, you can just make a burger cake. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Um, I didn't make anything from scratch this time because I just didn't feel like it. What's important here is the decorating. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my layered cake here and then I have the top. And how I made this is I just used a bowl. See, and you just put it in there. And this is, is gonna be the top of the beaver head. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, now I'm gonna do a crumb coat, which you just go around and frost it. And uh, then I'm gonna put hair on it. Not actual hair. All right, so I've got it frosted. Looks great. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just, I ran out of frosting. So this side is not frosted, but it's all about perspective, right? Don't show people this side and they'll never know. So I've got my beaver base and now I need to make, uh, put some hair on it or fur. I mean, a beaver has fur. I'm just gonna put fur on it and try to make it look hairy, but edible. Cause you don't want to really eat hair. I have to say this is really hard. And maybe there's a better way to do it. Okay, I'm still working on this. I have to say that grooming a beaver is really, really hard. Okay, I've got my beaver fur. Um, there it is. And my arms are literally trembling because that was so much work. Um, so now I'm gonna do the eyes and the ears and the tail. And my philosophy when decorating a cake is to do as little work as possible. So I used to have my kids decorate their own birthday cakes, which they thought was the best idea ever. They didn't know that I was tricking them so that I didn't do it. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I have the idea. I just cut some marshmallows and I'm just gonna put them on here as little eyes. Look at that, look at that. Um, they need a black dot in there though. So I'm just gonna put a little chocolate in there and we're gonna see. Oh, <laughs> instant eyes, look at that. Now what's important about a beaver? A beaver tail and the teeth. Wow, let's see. Does that look like a viewer? I won't put those on the cake because that would be gross. So I'm gonna put teeth on there. It's looking really good. Um, and I'm gonna make a beaver tail, but instead of like actually making a beaver tail, I'm just gonna use chocolate. See, look at this, it's got, it's got ridges on it and everything. And then I'm just gonna cut. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's a beaver tail. So I'm gonna make this work and I'm gonna make some ears and we're gonna see how this all works out. So I've got my eyes, I've got my buck teeth, I've got my beaver tail, I've got beaver ears and you know what else it needs? Cheeks. These are apricots because this is what I have on hand. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, so I present to you Happy spring, the beaver cake.